Hey, Pooh, how are you? They took my fucking eyes. <laughs> no way. Oh, no. Why does Griffin's head look like a pinhead? Who you calling pinhead? So I heard you like Dead by Daylight. So Ferrana recently did a collaboration with Dead by Daylight, and there is a new game mode out for all of us to enjoy. The event is essentially just Dominion on a skirmish map, but now there is a scary and spooky killer hunting us, and he's incredibly scary to fight, ooh, unless you believe in Black Prior Supremacy. Put me out of my misery! So as you guys can see, he's really not that scary in a 1v1 situation, unlike the real trapper in Dead by Daylight. So in Dead by Daylight, you want to run away from the killers, but in For Honor, you can pretty much just run towards them, with no regard for your safety at all. The only time you really don't run towards them is when you're in a team fight situation. That's when he does the 50 damage heavy attacks, and you kind of wish you had a flashlight. But then again, you can just take a nice, leisurely, slow jog away from him, and away from everyone else from the party. Really, he's just a really good jogging companion. Companion. You ever go jogging with one of your friends? It really motivates you to keep running, you know? I'm glad Ubisoft is finally promoting race walking. Dude, this guy doesn't even chase me. What the heck? <laughs> it's not scary at all. What the heck, man? You're nothing but a common jogger. <laughs> like I said before, the goal of this game is Dominion. You cap bases, you hold them, you give points. The killer shows up on random places, mostly in the middle of the map. There's small little generators in the bases to make it seem like you're in Dead by Daylight's world. But I think the greatest thing we can take away from this event is the new executions, the effects and how they repurposed an elimination map or any other map in general into a Dominion map. Dominion has been pretty stale because there hasn't been a new Dominion map in quite a long time. When I first played this event, it felt like a breath of fresh air because I haven't played this map in years. Elimination is dead on PC. You barely ever find any games, whether it be on Tribute or Elimination. So the game feels incredible to play on a new map and it just feels like I'm playing a new game. If Ubisoft could focus their resources on just finding a way to design old maps into new Dominion maps, that'd be awesome. Because we can see that this is proof that they can do these things. Whether it costs more resources or not, I think this would be great for the lifeblood of this game. Because I'm sure that many players are frankly tired of playing the same 5-6 maps that are always in the same rotations. And even adding new weathers is a welcome change. Plenty of old maps that can be reutilized into a Dominion map. Just look at this one. Canopy, which is a tribute map. They could change all of these places, a huge map, into adding more bases. Viking Village is also another great addition that we could add. This is the map that has that big boulder that rolls down. Like if we want to cheese, that this is the perfect place to cheese. But seriously, this is a big map and there's a lot of great atmospheric battles that could be fought here. The forest is also another great map. Check out how huge this area is. We could have point A here, point B, and then point C right here. And this is a beautiful map that nobody ever really plays except for in brawls, which is only consisting of this small area. Market Town is also another great map. This is a brawls slash tribute or elimination map, and this could be reutilized into a Dominion map. I'm sure there are plenty of other great maps as well. You guys let me know down below, but seriously, there's a lot of potential here for the other maps. Of course, these maps are going to need some tweaks or some balance changes, but I'm sure the devs can probably figure that out. There's also new variations of the armors and I really do like a lot of them. The Wulin always look the best. I kid you not, they always have the best armors. Whether it be variations or new sets, they are always 10 out of 10 styling with that Kanye West fashion. I like new armor sets. There are variations on old armor sets. I would still love for them to make new armors, but this is the best you guys will be able to get, unfortunately. At least for the time being. Hopefully in the future they can make new armors for us, but I also want to be realistic and I don't want you guys to get your hopes up. The executions this time around are honestly one of the best event executions we've ever had since this is one of the collaborations from Dead by Daylight they look simply divine. Now I love that they collaborated with the Dead by Daylight but I made a tweet that said you didn't include Oni in the Dead by Daylight for crossover instead you reskin Centurion moveset on Trapper. Now if you guys didn't know Oni is a killer in Dead by Daylight and essentially he is a really big Kensei and Shigoki. He uses the same weapon and uses also a Nodachi at the same time. This could have been fun to be chased by Oni and Trapper or actually include some more killers, but I'm assuming they didn't do that due to trademark issues. And one person did explain to me is that Trapper obviously is the poster child 
So it makes sense that he's in that and that is correct. But I think it would have been cool, just like what the destroyer says, to add more killers into the map. That would be really cool to be chased by at least two or three or four killers. I think something that would have been really cool is that if there were four killers or maybe even just two killers hunting around the players, because there are eight players that deal a lot of damage to the killer. Granted, the killer does do 50 damage heavy attacks that are unblockable, but you can pretty much just roll away or just walk away from the killer and he doesn't really pose too much of a threat. Having the Oni charge that the Oni killer does would have been really cool because Shigoki already has that running animation and Oni does this clobber attack. Oni does a clobber attack which have been really cool to see in For Honor. And we already have these animations especially when you jump off from a ledge or someone decides to do a plunging attack. These animations are already here. Like I said this game would have still pretty fun with just one killer. But the funny thing is that Dead by Daylight only got one charm. It was really nice that For Honor adopted the theme of Dead by Daylight and incorporated their Dominion game style to it. However the Dead by Daylight fans I think are a little bit upset that they only got a measly charm and they didn't really incorporate for honor style of gameplay into dead by daylight which would be a little bit hard but i think skins or something like that would have been appropriate like even a warden skin like being chased by a knight or one of the killers or instead have four killers versus four survivors i don't know <laughs> and that's pretty much all there is to the dead by daylight event there's executions there's events there's new armor variations to farm for and there's a new event to mess around with the killer the novelty will wear off and i guarantee you this event is going to be dead within a week or so but i still think it's a really fun experience for people who haven't played dead by day like go ahead and check it out it's a really fun game and it's fairly cheap too and for the people who haven't played for honor and are dead by daylight players i would say play for honor in small doses let me know what you guys think of the event and what armors or executions or effects are your favorite because there are honestly a lot of good ones i'm happy that for honor is still making content but i just really want some new maps and the hero reworks to come out and honestly a new hero too i'm looking forward to new for honor content but i know that it's going to be a very slow road hopefully for honor does more cool collaborations i wonder what other games they could collab with maybe hollow knight or perhaps resident evil that would be really cool but that's gonna do for me thanks for watching everybody we're gonna end the video off with some therapy time hmm it's been a while hasn't it go ahead i'm listening now what's been going on i see interesting now, is that how you really feel? Ugh. Tragic. Tragic indeed. Yes, yes. It's very stressful, I'm sure. That's okay. That is okay. I'm sure everything is gonna be fine. Don't worry too much about it. Worrying never really solved anything. I think you'll be fine. What are your plans? Ah, I see. Well, that's a pretty good plan. I think you can work it out. What? No way. Well, that's mighty impressive. I see. Well, you've always been a smart one. I'll tell you that much. But, unfortunately, you'll have to tell me more later. That's all the time we have left. Thanks for stopping by. I hope this helped. The box is going to bed now. <laughs>